What is up, everybody? It is your lovable redneck, old man Rebel, coming at you from Buckeye, Arizona, and welcome to uh, Naval Action. Uh, today, I will be showing you my latest plan of what I'm going to be doing with my Pandora. My Pandora is a light frigate, uh, fully manned, fully armed, fully updated, and ready to go. So we are actually in the war server, okay? And uh, let's get in here and take a look and see what we're going to be doing because it's going to be a pretty intensive uh, little patrol uh, on the uh, map itself. There I am in all his glory, old man rebel. And let's go ahead and start. And I may need to uh, adjust some of the uh, sound settings on here because I'm messing with my sound driver right now. And uh, I wasn't really picking up my microphone. So, let's go ahead and test that. So, obviously, we've got the sounds in the background. There is the Pandora. I am currently at Atwoods. And uh, there she is in all her glory. Folks, i got to tell you something. Um... The developers of Naval Action, whether you love them or hate them, the art department and the uh, design department who put these ships together for the game spared no expense. Look at the detail that they have put into these ships. And this this is just the Pandora. I mean, other ships are great too, but amazing. The, uh, the figurehead on the bow, the Pandora herself, opening up the little Pandora box right there. That's really, really cool. You don't see that a lot. And uh, look at the look at the grain of the wood. I mean, it's just amazing. They did some amazing detail. Look at the cat. That's awesome. So anyway, let me show you where we are. This is the Caribbean, obviously, in, in both servers. But this right here is my home island. Okay. And you can see the pirate nation has really been busy, just taking all kinds of ports all over Cuba. I mean, we we, we pretty much dominate the the north side of Cuba. Okay, everybody else on the other side, so that's kind of cool. And uh, a lot of the fighting in the game right now seems to be in this region, over in the Gulf of Mexico. And uh, I'm, I'm concentrating because I'm over here. I'm on the other side of the world. I'm over here in the Great Bahama Bank and the Grand Bahama. I like, these are all shallow water ports, and that's what I'm messing with. So, I'm at Atwoods right now. Basically, the last deep water port besides Pittstown, which is right here, that I will be able to dock with my frigate. Because you see all this light colored blue? This is shallow water. Look at Dead Men's Cay. If you look at the information, it says in the upper right hand corner, shallow water. That tells me I can't get a frigate in there. So it makes it really fun to run around in this area because. They're not able to chase you. Uh, only shallow water or shallow draft ships can get in here. So that's kind of cool. But what I want to do, we're going to go ahead and leave Atwoods. We're going to sail to the east. We're going to pass uh, Waddlings. We're going to come up on the east again on the wind. We're going to pass Port Howe. Port Howe is an enemy port. But I want to see if there's any action in this area right here. Okay, I want to see if there's traders, enemy players, you know, going about. You will find some heavy units every now and then, I've seen them. But most of the time, you're going to have enemy traders crisscrossing back and forth. Most of the time, they're smart and they stay to the shallows because they're not stupid. But every now and then, folks, you get a captain who's bold and will leave, for example, Shroud K and try to run the port half. Well, the only way to do that is you have to cross deep water. So if you're crossing deep water, I'm up here in my frigate, and guess what? If I intercept you, you're dead. So that's what we want to do. We just want to patrol this area a little bit, not too far north, because then we're getting close to the United States. And then, uh, uh, ooh, pirates took Cabo. That's good. And Savannah is a neutral uh, port. Okay, good. So we'll get Crook Islands. That's where we're at. We're gonna head north, probably north northwest. We're gonna hit the wind, pass Waddlings, head dead west. We're gonna hit Fort Howe. I want to get in here and see what's going on. So. Ships are fully loaded. We got a full crew. We got a full armament. Everything's looking pretty good. We look at uh, yeah, I got rum and repairs. We're ready to go. So let's go ahead and leave port. 
let's get this uh, pirate patrol on the. Uh, let's get rolling here. Let's get sailing. Let's set some sails and get out of here. That's what I want to do, folks. And there we are. Okay, so we're on our ship. Everything's looking good. Port Atwoods. Alright, so now you can see my ship right there. We're going to leave this way. We're going to head due west. We're kick it north. We're going to get into Port Howe. What I want to do is we just want to kind of do a quick little patrol and then come back out. Now, if we run into any units, I can get back to Portstown or I can get back to Atwoods. Portstown is probably my best bet if I'm being chased. But if nothing happens here, we'll come back out and come back around the east side of Arthurstown. And then we'll kind of just patrol around in here. We'll see what happens. Let's keep going. And we got obviously a dead wind. This is what we call being in chains, folks. You got no, uh, you got no wind. That really sucks. So the boat's barely moved. <laughs> it's okay, we're gonna kick it this way just a little bit. There we go. Get on that way. Trim the sails. There we go. Okay, so we got our jibs going and stuff like that. And there's too much of a headwind. I can't really set anything. Plus, I need to make a turn to larboard here in a minute. Old Man Rebel will keep you posted. Wish me luck, folks. I'm going to need it. Peace out from Naval Avenue.